Hey guys, Jonas here. I am right now shooting a video together with my local climbing gym. This is where I like to spend a lot of my time. And I wanna talk about a, uh, a problem I have when I'm shooting in places like this, and that is flickering video. If I could choose, I would probably spend most of my time shooting outside under beautiful sunlight, but that's unfortunately not really always how it works out. We do a lot of filming inside and a lot of the documenting that we do involves uh, documenting things as they happen, when they happen, and that means working with the main light source that you have available at the time. A lot of times that means fluorescent lights like this. And I couldn't tell you how many times these darn lights have given me serious headaches and that's mainly because of the flicker. To understand this flickering we first have to understand a little bit about how these lights work. The main frequency or I should say frequencies at which these fluorescent lights operate is either 50 hertz or 60 hertz depending on where you are in the world and these are the frequencies at which we get our alternating currents AC. In the US it's 60 hertz and here in Europe where I am right now it's 50 hertz. A 50 Hz AC frequency means a change in direction 100 times every second. 50 in one direction and 50 in the opposite direction. Similarly, 60 Hz changes 120 times per second. The result is that we get the same number of light changes or pulses of light changing every second. And our eyes cannot detect this, but the camera can. If successive frames of our video are exposed during different periods of the light pulses, they will get exposed differently and will appear to flicker. For studio shots we can get around this by using flicker free lights operating at really high frequencies but for what we do most of the time this is not an option. Then we have a couple of other solutions and the first one is setting the frame rate so it's the divisor of the fluorescent light fluctuation rate. I know this sounds complicated but basically choosing a number of your frame rate that is a number that you can divide the fluctuation rate with. So for example if you're shooting in the US and the fluctuation rate is 120 then if you're shooting 30, 60 or 120 frames per second for that matter, you should be fine. Because 30 times 4 is 120 and 60 times 2 is 120, so that's how you have it. Now, here's my issue. I have a camera set up to shoot a US video standard, which is 30 frames per second. It really is 29.97, but let's say 30 frames per second for simplicity, it's close enough. But I'm shooting a lot of my stuff here in Europe, which has a 50 hertz uh, AC frequency. 50 hertz means 100 fluctuations per second, right? So if I'm shooting 30 frames per second with 100 uh, fluctuations, it gives me some issues. But luckily I have another way to get around the problem and that is changing the shutter speed. If I change it to 1 50th of a second or 100th of a second, it gives me even exposure between frames and I'm safe. And the same goes if your camera is set to PAL shooting 25 frames per second and you go to the US. You can set the shutter speed to either 1 60th of a second or 1 120th of a second and you should be good to go. So think about this, if you're traveling and you run into problems with flickering video, you can either change the frame rate of your video or do what we do most of the time and that's changing the shutter speed. This works a lot of times when you're doing what we do and documenting stuff, but um, if you want to do more cinematic work, you might have to experiment a little bit with both. All right guys, now I'm gonna get my workout in before they open. Uh, thanks for watching and please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, check out the other videos, have fun. Give us your comments as well. We love to hear what you think about this stuff. All right, see you in another video.